two jellyfish-like blobs. See that right there? They've been spotted across our local beaches now. We told you earlier this week these creatures were washing up across California's coastline. Well, this morning, CBS 8's Abby Black working for you to find out what are these? If you've been to the beach lately, you might notice some blue looking blobs like this. We're working for you to find out what are these fascinating creatures that sail on the ocean surface. Camouflaged in the colorful rocks at Torrey Pine State Beach, you'll spot some unusual blue jelly-like creatures wedged in the sand. Right, they just blend in with the rocks really well. As Angelo Scolari was digging for rocks to throw, he couldn't help but notice the blue sails. Two of them here, another big guy up here. They look like jellyfish, but when we went to Scripps Institute of Oceanography, we learned they're part of the hydrozonas group. So these things that we're seeing washing up on our shores are called Valella Valella. And even though they look like jellyfish, they're actually not. So they're more closely related to an animal called the Portuguese man of war. PhD student Anya Steiner studying biology oceanography and says during her undergrad, she studied the Valleas Valleas that earned the nickname by the wind sailors after their sail like shape which couldn't be more accurate because these guys really can't move themselves around in the water. They are totally at the mercy of their little sails, which is why they can sometimes wash ashore. Steiner says that they are a cosmopolitan species, meaning they float across the world, but it often takes a combination of shortboard winds and plentiful food to see them wash ashore. So they'll eat lots of little zooplankton, kind of like pictures that you can see here. We dug through our archives and found them saturated across our beaches in 2015 and 2016. Although they do have stingers like a jellyfish, do they sting if you touch them? And I would recommend against touching anything that you don't really know what it is, but Valella Valellas particularly don't have any toxins in them that would hurt a human, as far as we know. Okay, if you're a larval fish though, then beware because the Valella Valellas will get you. <laughs> As we walked along the Torrey Pine State Beach, we found the Vallejo Vallejas, but they've also been recently spotted all along the Southern California coast. You just have to take a closer look and you'll find them. Yeah, they're a really important part of our ecosystem and it's really exciting to see them because they are sort of what I would consider rare. Working for you, I'm Abby Black, CBS 8.